What's up YouTube? This is John on Liquid House and today's video is going to be a little long so I'm going to keep the talking head short. But today's video is going to be about my main system, Dub Narada. It's a thread over system that I feature in the Enermax all-in-one review video as well as a thread over teaser video. Pretty much all the water cooling parts are from Watercool and I couldn't be more grateful to them for sending over some of their stuff. We have radiators from Alpha Cool and Hardware Labs and then we have the tubing and fittings from Monsoon. But I couldn't have finished the build the way that I like to without Monsoon and Watercool. So thank you guys and I really appreciate it. But enough talking head, let's just jump into it. If you guys like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you on the next one. The Heat Killer 4 TR4 Pro is the top of the line premium water block specifically designed for AMD thread over processors. Nickel plated copper, along with the clear acrylic and an anodized aluminum cover plate, makes this block stand apart from other thread over blocks on the market. The cold plate that contacts the processor's IHS has been modeled to accommodate the 2x2 die layout, providing the very best performance for effectively cooling thread over processors. Now the amount of thermal paste that I'm going to put on here is just enough to slightly spread around the entire cover of the IHS. I don't want to have any build up around the IHS in any way. So I'm going to put a little bit in the center and I'm going to spread it around with the provided spreader from Thermal Grizzly. Normally with Intel processors, I like to just put a little pea-sized dab in the center and with the IHS being so small by the time the pressure has completely formed along the processor with the water block, the paste gets spread out completely evenly. But with Red Ripper and it's so big, I wanted to spread it out and make sure that every centimeter got completely covered. And as you can see, I have completely covered the entire IHS with a very, very fine layer of Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Now it's time to mount the block. Now the mounting system on this block is very simple. It's very straightforward. Watercool designed it to pretty much be flawless in terms of its design. All it really takes is the four supplied screws along with the springs. The screws themselves are machined to stop at a certain mounting pressure. And so all you have to do is literally screw down until it stops, which is very nice. And make sure that it's torqued down completely evenly, go in a star pattern, if you will. Now it's time to do something a little bit different, and this is what I'm really excited about. We're gonna be putting the VRM water block that Watercool also provided on the VRMs of the Zenith board. To do that, we have to remove the stock heat sink and fan. To do that, you have to flip the board over, of course, and undo the back cold plate that's touching the reverse side of the motherboard's VRMs. Being that the VRM heatsink is still attached to a secondary heatsink with a fan on it on the Zenith, you have to undo the I.O. cover as well to get access to the fan and the heatsink. With everything unscrewed, it was easy to just slightly pull up and everything came right out. The design of the stock heatsink with the little fan it just wasn't cutting it for me. I knew it was holding me back and so I wanted to get a VRM water block and Watercool really came through with developing one for the Asus boards. I 
as I apply this thermal pad to the VRMs, I really appreciate the fact that they designed the block to cover not just the MOSFETs, but the phases as well. With both of them being actively cooled, it provides a much nicer environment for overclocking. With the block now sitting on the VRMs, simply flip the board over while holding the pressure down, put the stock backplate back on, and use the provided screws from Watercool. And with that, the VRM water block really matches well with everything else on the board. The aesthetic goes real well with the clear acrylic on the Heat Killer TR4 Pro, as well as the top sides of the Trident Z RGB RAM. With this setup, I can really appreciate a true two-tone... Wait, 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 wait.